I'm going to demonstrate the MSR common peroneal nerve release. Now, the peroneal nerve, as it descends down the, the outer part of the calf here, uh, technically when we think about it, it's truly just one more extension of the uh, sciatic nerve. And because of that, we're going to start out the protocol with a bit of nerve flossing. That's going to involve hip flexion, knee extension, dorsiflexion of the foot, and uh, uh, inversion as well. So I'm going to demonstrate. We're going to come over this way. Now, a key component of that as I move uh, Mickey's leg is Mickey's also going to extend her neck. And so that way we're going to get more of a uh, nerve glide. So as the nerve, as the sciatic nerve comes down uh, the back of the leg here, it bifurcates into the tibial and the uh, common peroneal. Now the common peroneal comes out deep to the uh, biceps femoris muscles, actually innervating the short head of the biceps femoris, and it comes out slightly laterally here through the popliteal fossa, and then just proximal to the uh, fibular head, which is, let's palpate, yeah, right here, it's going to split into a deep and superficial uh, peroneal nerve. So starting out, we're going to get find the biceps uh, femoris tendon, which is right here, just lateral to that in almost this little sulcus here, we're going to create superior tissue tension. So now I'm moving the hip into flexion, Mickey's extending her knee, dorsiflexing the foot, and inversion. There we go, I'm going to hold the end range a bit. Doing okay? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so once again, and you really start to feel the nerve at the end range here when you create Tension, yeah, you can kind of feel it pop out underneath your thumb contact there. Good, okay. Moving a little distally now, kind of in that popliteal fossa. Doing okay there? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. And then, just proximal to the fibular head, as we're working our way down. Good. And as you can see, Mickey's extending her neck at the same time. I could also assist um, with the foot as I come through, maintaining that dorsiflexion and really focusing in on the inversion as we hold that end range. Good. Nice. And back. Okay. So now we're going to have you go uh, flat on your back here in a supine position. You're also going to want to internally rotate the lower leg a bit and that'll allow you better access to the, the peroneus longus muscle here. Now at the, make sure we palpate the uh, fibular head, yeah. so as that nerve bifurcates it, it wraps around the uh, fibular head and the, uh, the nerve, the common peroneal kind of pierces through an area which is a very tough kind of fibrous osseous uh, tunnel of the superficial peroneal muscle. So by creating the foot dorsiflexion and inversion through all the fascial connections through the peroneus longus and brevis here, we're going to affect the nerve and, and help to pull it down and through this area to help release it. So we're taking a forearm contact and at the same time, we're going to pronate the forearm as we dorsiflex and invert the foot. And we're going to hold that. Now, maintaining this tension, we're going to incorporate some rotation of the ankle and foot. And as we come back in, we're really going to focus on that dorsiflexion and inversion. Good. Doing okay there, Mickey? Yeah. Yeah, it can be tender, so... Definitely communicate with your patient. There we go. So I'm maintaining a superior tension with my forearm as I rotate the ankle and really focus in on that dorsiflexion and inversion. Good. Let's move a little more distally. Same idea here. Pronating the forearm, maintaining superior tension. There we go. Good, yeah, right there. You can really feel that one. Good. Okay, so now once you've released uh, uh, the nerve and, and potential entrapment sites, you're going to go back and perform the nerve flossing again to help. It'll help you assess and see if you've released the areas that were restricted. At the same time, you'll reinforce some of the movement and get more nerve glide through the area. So we're going to uh, kind of 
flex the hip here, extend your knee, dorsiflex the ankle, and invert good as you extend your neck. Perfect. Good. Actually, we're getting further. Yeah, a lot further. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can really feel the difference here. It's always nice to uh, see results after you've performed this protocol. And it's a great way to show your patients that what it is you're doing is actually making a difference and a positive change. So, one more. There we go, good. Perfect. And relax, good. Okay, so just a great way to release the common peroneal nerve.